Okay, I'm doing task 12, which is setting up a surgical pack. Um, so, in our surgery room here, I went and probably disinfected and cleaned. Um, we swept them off the floors for that last night um, to minimize dust in the air. All the surfaces have been wiped down with the disinfectant, uh, the surgery light, all the equipment, um, and it's free of clutter. So, I picked a surgical pack. Um, we have, I think, eight general surgery packs, and we just label them per color. So this is our pink general surgery pack. Um, it's just a major surgical pack that has everything that you can need from, you know, a spay to an intradominal surgery. So um, we are doing a spay with today. So um, this is actually autoclave this morning, 7-Eleven, um, and it has the initials of the person, the SH. Um, so, and it's got the colors changed, or the black stripes, and the tape has changed, so we know this is properly autoclave. So we'll set it here on our NATO scene, and then we'll just take our tape off. And then I'm just going to set it on the side of the stand so we know that this one's already been autoclaved. Um, so now I can go, um, you know, put my mask and my um, cap on and go ahead and scrub and get in. Okay, so now we're ready to start our surgery, so I'm going to have our surgery tech open our cap for us. Um, she's going to do the first block away, the second to the right, the third to the left, and then I'll have the next one. Passing stuff to the doctor, so I'll start with the towels. And then I'm just going to kind of organize everything for a good manner of cap surgery. So, like, I'll go ahead and take the towel plants out. And the needle drivers. And the heat stuff, so I'll show that I know we're going to lose really really quick. And so I'm going to, all my instruments, I'm going to make sure they're open and I'm going to snap them to the surgeon's hand so that she doesn't have to do much um, manipulating of the instruments. surgery tech um, passing the scalpel blade. So if she's not going to break the seal, I'm going to grab them with the needle drivers. And put them on the scalpel blade handle. And then I'm going to pass everything with the blade away from the doctor. So. I'm just going to block them as well to maintain the stasis and so that she can see clearly.
And so whenever she needs me to hold anything, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not putting too much tension on any of the tissues. keep account of all the charts and then kind of clean everything off as I get it back.
Okay, so now that we've she's finished suturing um, and I've taken all the sharps away, we're all good to go. Um, the patient's all closed up. We just put a little glue on, um, and I made sure the whole time that we weren't breaking the sterile shield, the full 3D sterile field. Um, so we're all done.